Hey guys, Malachi here. Um, we went out again this evening and I have a short haul video. I'm totally broke, but I just don't care because I missed Force Friday. So we went out on Saturday and I got a few Star Wars items. I'm super happy with my purchases and I regret nothing. Nothing at all because these will be gone and I would have not gotten them. So I will show you what I got. Well, this wouldn't have been gone, but it was just super cool. <laughs> um, Han Solo is my favorite character ever and he has been um, since I was three years old. Um, I have been a Star Wars fan since I was three. <laughs> um, and my very first Star Wars memory is the commercial coming on television and seeing Han Solo and Chewbacca flying the Millennium Falcon um, and running up to the television and doing this because it looked like they were inside the television flying their spaceship. So um, I bought the Hot Wheels Millennium Falcon. Now um, if you're a kid it's pretty cool because it's got a stand that you put on it and you can put it on your finger and make it fly which is totally wicked. Um, I am probably not going to open this because it really doesn't have a stand. Oh no, I lied. You can use the finger thing as the display stand. So I might open it. I don't know. Look at all the nooks and crannies. As a collector off and on of memorabilia and action figures, things like that, these types of things are very hard to clean. Um, so it's best a lot of times just to leave them in the box. Um, so we'll, we'll decide. Um, I open all my uh, Hot Wheels that I have that are um, Chevy Impalas, except my pink 58 Impala that's like Buddy Holly's. That one's not been opened. It's in the collector's box. Anyway, that was a long story to tell you that. They also have the X-Wing, um, a Jedi Starfighter, a TIE Fighter, and... Um, A special first order special forces tie fighter so I will probably end up with all of these they're small they're easy to collect um, so yeah I'm really happy I got a Millennium Falcon that was one thing I really wanted to find so um, then my best friend was with me and she found these shirts and she found this and I just went crazy get the sticker off of it this Vader shirt the first Star Wars film I saw in the theaters was Return of the Jedi and um, if any of you know you get to learn about the light and dark side of Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi which came out a long time before uh, the prequels so for those of us who remember the originals Return of the Jedi is where we do see the juxtaposition in Vader and I won't if if I'm spoiling Star Wars where have you been if you have not seen Star Wars watch Star Wars <laughs> start with four through six then go to the prequels then you'll be ready for seven eight and nine and all the other goodies that are gonna be coming out anyway it's really cool and it's got star flex all over it I flipped out and I bought it and I'm broke and I don't care. And this is why I'm broke, because not only did we find that, but another favorite character of mine, um, who is going to have his own movie, which is just absolutely stinking wicked, is Boba Fett. And I found that. I don't know if you can see it's him, because of the way it's painted. Yeah, you can see it. This is Boba Fett and it's um these are like this one's like a antique kind of worn out feel shirt which those are really in right now and I love it the fans are going that's why they're moving anyway I like that his gun is smoking and it's just so cool so that's my Star Wars stuff I wasn't able to do it on Force Friday but I did it I got my Star Wars stuff I can't see the film in the theater so I've kind of been standing off um learning anything about any of the characters and I decided this is really stupid. You're missing out on something that you have way 
did for since you were a little bitty kid. <laughs> you have known that there were three more episodes. He wrote nine episodes. That's how he wrote it. <laughs> Get off your ass. <laughs> Go on the computer. Start learning about these new characters. Start learning about the film. And then when you can see it on Blu-ray, you can enjoy it. And you can also enjoy talking to your friends about it coming out in the theater, even though you can't go to the theater. Great. Let's do that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, then at Walmart, they had this Halloween bandana. You guys know I'm always wearing bandanas because I sweat a lot. Um, not so much in the fall, but I do like my Halloween scarves. It's bats and tree branches and what could be cooler. Um, and also this might uh, go on my end table actually for Samhain. Um I'm not sure yet. And then I love my leopard print and I needed black and gray. So got that. Got like a bucket piece. And then got another candle. Um, I need red candles constantly and this is um, apple pie scented which is important as well. Um, I use this for an altar space. I needed a couple makeup brushes. These wet and wild brushes are foundation uh, are great for a couple things. If you just want to put a base color over your whole lid area just really lightly these are great. These are awesome for blending um, they're like 98 cents at Walmart and they're awesome for blending. I have a whole bunch of them um, and they're fantastic for blending. And then I got another um, eye crease brush because I only have one and I really like these for putting the color in the crease. So um, I got those and that was it for Walmart and then we went to Walgreens and the Walgreens we went to this time Hardly had any of their school supplies on sale, but they had my pens for 50 cents each. So I was able to get another pink, another purple, and I got like a black, which will look like hematite when you write with it. So I got those. They had friggin' Halloween pumpkins. They're finally starting to get Halloween stuff. I wanted my marshmallow pumpkin. I eat these through September and October, but I don't eat a lot of them, but I do eat them. So my skin's probably gonna break out like crazy. And I had a $5 off coupon. So I finally got my Daryl Dixon um, pop figure, so I paid $3 for him because I had my coupon. I've been waiting, 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 waiting to get him. My pop figures I do open, they're incredibly easy to clean because um, all the spaces on them are big. They're easy just to wipe off with a, you can use a wet cloth or one of those Lysol um, cloths work really well. Also, I have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so I'll make nine, I have like nine pop figures. Um, these will be the only type of action figure type things that I will be collecting from now on. And there will only be ones that I really super want, like the Hello Kitty, Kitty Hello Kitty, ooh, Hello Kitty horror ones um, that I want. There's a few more supernatural ones that I want, um, things like that. So, and I really wanted Daryl. So now I've got Daryl, and I'm really happy. I can't wait to. Heck, let's open him. We have time. Let's just open up Daryl. Take a look. This tape is pretty open. Let's just have a look at Daryl. Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> there he is. He's so awesome. Look at his little bow. <laughs> he's so cute. His little hair. His little slanty eyes. Bring it. Bring me some squirrels. He's so cool. <laughs> I love him. I love these pop figures. They make me all kinds of happy. He's really nice though. That little bow. They've got um, several Disney ones I want as well. And that's my cat. She's really noisy right now. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. And that will be it for... I was going to sit right there. That will be it for the rest of the month. 
because I'm broke now, but I have no regrets because they will be out of those shirts um, very, very quickly. Those shirts are amazing. So, um, and Star Wars stuff right now is going really, really quickly. So if you see something at Star Wars and you like it and you have the money, you should buy it now because it will be gone. <laughs> this is from a lifelong Star Wars fan and collector um, of all things action figurey. Um, if you like it and it's Star Wars and you have the money, go ahead and buy it. Especially if it is a popular character and it is a type of action figure that everyone is collecting because people will buy it and they will put it on eBay or Amazon and it will jack the price up and screw you over. So <laughs> definitely, definitely don't let that happen. I'm not trying to boss you around. You can do whatever you want with your life. It's your life. I'm just saying this from experience. So um, I at one point had over a hundred Lord of the Rings action figures when I was at my pinnacle of Lord of the Rings love, which has not diminished just because I don't have a bunch of action figures, but um, that was my pinnacle of collecting. I regret deeply opening them. Um, I had them for several, several, several years and my friends finally talked me into opening them. And the ones that I have left, I've actually had to put most of them away um, because they were deteriorating so quickly they were not meant to be opened um, but I have my Bilbo on display he's actually staying um, very nicely so anyway um, I wish they'd make Merlin pop figures they've made Doctor Who um, I might write them about that they'd sell they would sell anyway on that note I'm gonna go um, and out with my best friend and enjoy my chocolate and um, all of that. So take care guys. Uh, many blessings and I'll see you soon.